today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your USPS and UPS accounts with Zoho Inventory. And after that, I'll tell you how you can generate shipment labels for them. Let's start with USPS. One of the largest shipment carriers in the world, USPS carries more than 47% of the world's mails. If you are interested, you can go look up this information on facts.usps.com. With such a track record, calling it a mere postal service would be a huge understatement. Because to you, the online seller, USPS is one of the more safer, cheaper and faster options for sending products to your customers who may be living just about anywhere. So let's see how we can make the most of this carrier inside of Zoho Inventory. If you are setting up the USPS integration for the very first time, then you will need to create an account with Pitney Bowes, our partner in shipping integrations. So let's see how we can integrate Zoho Inventory and USPS. To begin, log in to your Zoho Inventory account, navigate to integrations and select shipping channels. Once you are inside shipping channels, click on the setup now button adjacent to USPS. In the following window, start by creating a Pitney Bowes account. Click on the create account link in the setup page and subscribe to one of their plans. Before you do, please read the terms and conditions carefully. The account created through this link will be registered under Zoho. After signing up, enter your Pitney Bowers login credentials such as the registered email and password. Once you're ready, click connect to complete the integration. Now that we have integrated USPS with Zoho Inventory, let's see how we can generate a shipping label quickly. Generating an USPS shipping label. Now I'm going to ship one of the yet to be shipped packages on this particular sales order. To begin, navigate to the preferred package and click on the ship button. Choose the ship via carrier option in the drop down that follows. In the next page, select the carrier as USPS. Now every carrier shipment have three stages or phases as I would like to call them. So the first phase or the first step would be validating addresses. The built-in address verification system will verify whether the addresses are real places and this process will determine the shipping options available to you in step 2 or phase 2. Please note that this system currently works only in select countries and locations. And if there are any mistakes in the addresses, you will have to correct them before you can proceed. Step 2. Configuring the shipment. This is the place where you specify what's in the shipment and how you have packed it. It includes details like when do you want to ship it, what are the package dimensions, what is its weight and so on. After that, the system will show you various shipment options along with the rates from USPS. Choose the one that suits the needs of either you or your customer and hit the create shipment button. Now we are moving on to step 3. Generate the label. Here you will find the shipping label being generated for you based on your preferences in the previous two steps. USPS will automatically keep track of the shipments you make through them and update their statuses in Zoho Inventory. 